there's now dozens of AI tools that say you can create beautiful slides and easy presentations in seconds. Here's another one. Let's take a look at Wonderslide. So before we jump into that and we see if Wonderslide can be your new best friend in creating pitch decks and presentations, let's first talk a little bit about what this is, what we got going on. So uh, my name's Jordan. I'm the host of Everyday AI. So we're a daily live stream podcast, free newsletter, and daily tutorials, helping everyday people like you and me understand and use AI. So let's use some AI. Let's, let's check out uh, this new tool called Wonderslide. So this was uh, trending today as a new product. So we're going to take a look. So the, uh, the promise is, or what they kind of talk about, is to create a presentation powered by AI. Uh, it looks like how to make a beautiful presentation in 60 seconds. So uh, bold claim, but you know we've seen this before. We've seen some powerful tools. So let's take a look at Wonderslide and see if it can deliver on the promise. So uh, signed up for, it looks like a free trial, seven days. Um, so this is what happens when you log in. Uh, it says upload a draft of your presentation. So that part to me at least was a little confusing because it looks like you have to start with something. Uh, so what I did is it just says you can take this example file. Uh, so that's what I did. I downloaded it um, and I uploaded their example file. All right, so I'm doing this live, haven't done this yet. So it says select a color. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose this, uh, this blue here. Now it says choose a, uh, choose a shape. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can hopefully see. Uh, so it says, choose a shape that uh, is in your brain identity. All right, well, I guess we'll just choose this rounded off one there. Uh, logo, it looks like we can um, upload a logo for now, just for the sake of time. I'm just going to say no logo. Uh, themed images, uh, we'll just say business. Uh, we'll say tech, technology and innovation. And then it says select font. Uh, so a couple, couple fonts here. I'll go ahead and take uh, Montserrat. All right, and then uh, I don't see anything else. It just says generate. Uh, so we'll see what's happening here. There's nothing about uh, what company, um, anything like that. Uh, so we'll see, maybe that's in the next steps where we put in more information um, about the company. So let's, let's see. All right, so it says presentation is done. So not quite sure what that means. Um, but let's look. So it looks like there's a couple of slides here. So slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four. Slide, okay, how many do we got? It looks like we have six slides maybe. Um, and I take it we can, all right. So we, we already kind of found out here uh, what this is. So uh, it looks like it's just to take the presentation and bring it into PowerPoint uh, is what it looks like uh, over here. Um, we get something that says, you're all set, download your presentation uh, to finish it in PowerPoint. So it doesn't look like we necessarily get, um, you know, get a presentation from beginning to, to end. We don't, um, you know, type in our, our business name. There was an option for, uh, for a logo that I kind of uh, switch, uh, kind, of, kind of went over. So I might actually just go ahead and reload that um, and try it quick just to see if we get a better... Uh, a better result just because uh, this result wasn't um, wasn't the best. It wasn't really a presentation per se. So let's go ahead and uh, let's let's just regenerate. Let's kind of start over. Um, all right. So we're going to go in. We're going to go to our account. We're going to try. We're going to try another one. We're going to start a design. We're going to go. We're going to go from. Uh, all right. So it looks like it's just making us uh, download it. All right, so, um, hey, the AI in five, it's always live. We're always figuring it out on the fly. So it looks like you can't even uh, do a new one until maybe you uh, download this. So let's see what we can change. Uh, we can make uh, the background white. So it looks like you can do some basic color changes here. Um, okay, uh, looks like we can replace colors, change the layout. And it looks like you can kind of do that on a slide-by-slide -slide basis. It does appear. Um, all right, so it actually changed quite a bit um, on the slide. So uh, you can replace images. Uh, so it looks like you don't get the choice necessarily. So you kind of have to pick the category. So, you know, we picked uh, technology and innovation, but it looks like 
it looks like really what this is and what it's probably going to be used for is if you are uh, an avid PowerPoint user um, and maybe you just don't have great templates uh, available or you struggle with design, and then you're gonna come in here and download the, uh, the PowerPoint file. Um, obviously, I didn't put my logo in on this, but you can't put your logo in, uh, but for the most part, you're still creating, um, you know, you're still creating the, uh, the slides from scratch, which is fine. But uh, so, so there, there were some things in today's uh, AI five, uh, AI five uh, product that I would probably change and give them feedback on. Um, but this is really, it seems like to make a somewhat branded template in PowerPoint uh, fairly quickly. So I will give them that you can, uh, but it's, it's not going to create a, a complete presentation um, from front to back, you know, like you see with other tools, we reviewed one called Journey um, on AI and five before. But if you are a heavy PowerPoint user, um, and if you struggle to find branded templates, maybe this is uh, a good option for you. So uh, not something that we would use uh, necessarily, but that doesn't mean it's, it's not for anyone else. So uh, I hope this was helpful. As a reminder, please go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for our free daily newsletter where we share, we break down news every day. Uh, we have a guest and we uh, do live interviews uh, with them as well. So you can ask questions and learn about AI. So I hope to see you back with another AI in five soon.